Hello again, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, and today I'm going to show you how to enjoy some summer squash. Now, over on one side of my garden is the food producing side. That's where I have my orange trees, my rosemary, and my cooking sage. And then in the containers is where I have the cherry tomatoes. And this year, for the first time ever, we have grown some summer squash in three containers off to one side and then the last part of the garden is my wife's herb garden where she has all her basil and thyme and parsley and other stuff that she loves using for cooking so this is two months after i planted the seeds for the summer squash we have these giant leaves that are just massive they're the size of basketballs and hidden amongst all these leaves are these beautiful yellow flowers that are just popping up everywhere it's amazing how they just are hidden by all these giant giant leaves but somehow the bees that love to be in my garden find these flowers and they get in there and mull around and they fertilize them and create this wonderful fruit that is hanging down from this now the reason i grow it in the container i do have a little bit of a rat problem and it makes it much tougher for the rats to get to them when they're slightly elevated so a few weeks after fertilization, uh, the, the summer squash is almost ready. It's really looking good. So how can you tell when it's ready? Well, here's my wife to explain. We've heard that the optimal size is between 6 and 10 inches. And while I haven't measured this, I'm definitely thinking that we're in that realm. So this is our very first summer squash we've ever harvested. We're going to take that into the kitchen and cut it right up. So here you can see that squash is a nice long size. It's actually almost eight inches long, a little bumpy, a little furry. So now my wife has taken it in to the kitchen and she's going to start dicing it up. And once she's done dicing it up, she's going to mix it in with a little bit of almond flour, a little olive oil, and a little bit of salt and pepper with a little dash of garlic salt on the top as well. So not a lot of complex ingredients. You just want to mix it all in. Again, that's the almond oil. Um, almond flour, olive oil, a little salt, and a little bit of pepper to mix it all in. And while you're doing that, make sure you preheat that oven for 400 degrees. And while it's heating up, uh, my wife loves to toss a little bit of parsley on top of the summer squash. You pop it in the oven and basically just let it bake for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees. And then, and here's the fun part, hit the broil button on your stove. Let it broil for a few more minutes and then pop it out and enjoy. And this is such a great treat. I love eating this summer squash. It's a real simple recipe and it's a really easy to grow plant from seed. So that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. And again, this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener. Make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe to get more of my garden videos. Thanks for watching.